In this video, I want to go over how you can extend the execution log retention in uh, Microsoft SQL Server reporting services. So if you don't know, by default, um, the execution log only stores up to 60 days worth of data, um, but you are able to change that number uh, either by code or through the GUI. So in this video, I'm going to review how to do it through the GUI. So first thing you want to do is make sure you're connected to the actual server um, on which SQL Server reporting services reside. So currently, um, as you can see on the screen, this is the server where I have uh, SSRS installed. So what you're going to do is open up SQL Server Management Studio. Um, so I have it right here. Uh, make sure you do open it as administrator. So I'm going to run as administrator. Now make sure that the server type you're connecting to is reporting services um, and that you are logging in um, as an administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and connect because I do have administrative rights. You're going to right click on the server here and go to properties. Go to the advanced pane or tab and you're going to see a field right here called execution log days kept. Now by default you would have, um, I'm assuming 60 days or so, because by default it's only going to give you two months uh, worth of retention. Now if you look down here it gives you a list of possible values. You could have anything from negative one to zero through you know 2.147 billion. Now one thing you want to pay attention to is right here it says if the value is zero, entries are not deleted. Um, from the execution log. However, if you look online, there have been cases of people who enter in zero for this value and as a result um, no, no execution logs are ever retained because you're effectively telling it to retain zero days uh, worth of information. So either it's negative one or I'm not entirely sure. If any of you happen to know the answer to that, uh, please leave a comment below. But if not, what I like to do just to be on the safe side is, you know, enter enter a very large number. So in my case, you know, about two years of data is enough to enough for me to retain. Um, so I just plugged in 720. Um, to be on the safe side, you could just, you know, enter in a very large number, and that should do it. So just hit OK, and you should be good to go. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, please give it a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, please do leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.